Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Tokyo Yo. My name is T. I'm going to have a quick little discussion today. There's something I wanted to discuss since many people have been asking me about it on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to address. The thing I kind of wanted to chat about was competition versus hobby when we're talking about yo-yos. So let's get right into it. So is competition really all that important? You know, you see so many yo-yos these days on every website saying, you know, competition ready. It's ready to tackle all your combos and make you look awesome on stage. And that seems to be like a big focus of many yo-yos is like competition ready, which I think is silly. Actually, I, you might notice in the last few videos, I've really tried to stop saying that. I don't like saying competition, shape, competition, ready, because I don't compete. And a majority of the people who are in this hobby don't compete. So I think it's kind of silly to say this yo-yo is competition ready because <laughs> a huge majority of us don't compete. Yeah, so there's this really strong focus on a section of yo-yo players and yo-yo throwers who I think don't actually exist. Like, every yo-yo is marketed to us as if we all compete and we don't. Not all of us anyway, I never will. We'll get into that. And really, is competition that important? So I understand that it's fun for a lot of people. They really enjoy getting up there on stage. I do enjoy going up on stage. I used to be a musical theater actor. I used to sing, I used to act. I, I did directing, but I usually did singing and acting primarily. So I'm no stranger to the stage. But as far as yo-yo goes, or as far as doing like a competition, I've never kind of understood the drive behind it personally. Many yo-yo peoples are, you know, hobbyists and collectors, so we don't all need a yo-yo that's going to drive us to the very top of the competition stage. And personally, like, I find the idea of competing to be really stressful. Like, the whole reason I yo-yo, the reason I buy yo-yos, the reason I play with yo-yos is to relax. Is to go into the state where I don't have to worry about things, where I can just sit back and enjoy what I'm doing and kind of shut my brain off for a while. That's really what I do and like honestly, even when I'm at home, when I'm like hanging out with my kid or you know, when I'm on my lunch break or whatever, like the main reason I throw a yo-yo is so that I can sit back. So a lot of people have asked me like, T, when are you gonna compete? You could do amateur, you could do something like that. Like, no thanks, man. The whole reason I do this is to get away from stress, not to add to it. And for some people, it doesn't add stress to them. They enjoy that. That's what they're all about. I talked to Evan Nagao on Tokyo Your Talk before. You know, he talked a lot about competition. A lot of the people I've talked to mention competition and how much they love it and how much passion it gives them and stuff like that. And that's totally fine. It's just not for me. I mean, personally, I really enjoy the collection aspect of yo-yos because I can, you know, something you can admire, something you can look back on. Every yo-yo you get has kind of a story to it or a reason you bought it. Sorry, I'm gonna sit down. I'm tired. I'm an old man. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. Where are my notes? But you know, I've always been a collector and like this is just another thing to collect. I used to collect super nerd alert. I collect Star Trek starships models, something I do. I did for a long time. I don't anymore since I got into yo-yos again, but that's something I definitely used to collect. I collected amiibos for a while. I really enjoy those. Sometimes I'll still pick one or two up because I really like just the way they look. I collected Nerf guns for a while. I was really into Nerf guns for a while and I'm still trying to get people into it. I'm hoping to have like some kind of battle someday because I've got enough for it. But yeah, so when yo-yos came along and it's kind of like another thing that's just perfect, there's always new ones coming out and there's always ones that are kind of catering to different tastes and that's, you know, the really nice thing about the hobby. So it's really kind of a prime community to collect things in, especially when so many people are into trading, which I've just recently got into on the BST, which it's been a lot of fun to trade with people. But yeah, like the whole collection aspect of yo-yo is really fun and that's something I really enjoy about it. So adding into the collection and the practice and the Zen aspect of yo-yo, adding competition into that, that sounds like a really stressful and unnecessary thing to me. But you know, at the end of the day, the hobby is whatever you need it to be. So for some people, it is competition only. You know, for your Gentry Steins, your Evan Nagaos, your Tessa Pachillos, the, these really huge innovators pushing yo-yo forward, obviously competition is their main focus. And that's totally not a bad thing at all. That's fine. That's what they're doing it for. And it's good that we have people like that so they can kind of push the rest of us to improve our tricks, improve what we're doing, and just, you know, enjoy the community in general and try to push yo-yo as far as it can go. You have your collectors like myself or you have your hobbyists, whatever, and it's fine. We can all coexist together. But, you know, people were asking me why I don't compete and that's kind of why and I just wanted to explain how I felt about the whole thing and why I think that, you know, other people competing is not a bad thing. It's just, just not for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. This might have been a little bit of a shorter one, but I just wanted to get that out there and kind of talk a little bit about competition. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, a comment, a subscription. I'd really appreciate it. 
please make sure you go out and check out Clozy. Thanks so much to them for letting me use the song Koto for this video and for other videos I've done in the past. That song is incredible and you guys really need to go check it out. Link in the description. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, have a nice day, and sayonara.